Pinky, do you love me? Do you want me? Never, never leave me. Hey, Facebookers. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. How you guys doing? Just want to make sure I'm broadcasting to public so everyone can see it. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday, Facebook. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. I am a little, you know, off, off brand today, dressed down, getting ready to go um, babysit my grandchildren. So, but I wanted to jump on live because I had something to share and I really want to um, encourage someone today. So I am hoping that I get an opportunity to encourage someone. Hey, my friend, great to see you. So happy you could join me. We have to connect. We are going to be talking. Martha, I will call you on my way to visit my grandchildren. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Hey, VW, my friend from back home. Great to see you. Listen, um, I put the link up for my conference that's coming up on October 5th and 6th. But beside the conference, this is what I want to share. If you are like me two years ago, right, I got to a point in my life where I was wondering what is next. Like this could not be all that God created me to be just going to work every day and coming home every day, the humdrum of life. And so there was always this thing inside of me that, that, that was driving me to do something else, but fear kept me there, you know, because I wasn't sure how I would uh, make that happen. And so fear kept me stuck. Another thing that kept me stuck was my age. I'm thinking, Jesus, I'm in my fifties. Do I start over? You know, what does it mean for me to be 51 years old and starting to, uh, you know, think about purpose and what I can do with my purpose? And so I want to just encourage someone out there today that if you are in a place in your life right now where you feel as if, you know, age has caught up with you and that, hi, Adrienne, how are you, darling? And that maybe you can't get uh, to do what it is that you have always dreamt of doing, you know, forever, and you feel as if time is running out, I want you to know something, that age is never a factor in whatever it is you want to do. Education is never a factor in whatever it is you want to do because God qualifies the call. Hey, Van, God qualifies the call. And what I'm trying to tell you right now, I am sitting here today just mesmerized, blown away because I took a risk two years ago that I was going to step out on faith and that I was going to do what God has placed in my heart forever. Hey, Kelly, it's so nice to have you joining me. And that risk that I took, I am telling you, it's paying off in leaps and bounds. And that's one thing I know about faith. And that's one thing I know about trusting God is that when you take those risks, God backs it up. And God just blows your mind. He blows your mind because he realizes, right, that the thing that he put in you, that you trust him enough and have faith enough to walk in it, no matter how long you waited, you just have to take action. You just have to do it. And Martha says, I'm 60. Yes. And I want to share this with you because Two years ago, right, I left my job at corporate after 25 years, and I said to myself, I want to jump out there, and I want to activate, activate my faith by going into this thing that God had called me. I'm a domestic violence survivor. I was beaten. I was broken. I was battered. I ran away with my children with 10 black trash bags. I had heart, a hard life. I was homeless. All of these things happened to me, but some way I crawled my way up on the mountain, right? I crawled through the, the hurdles, through the pain, through the despair, and I crawled. Why did I crawl? Because I knew I couldn't go around it, right? That's the thing when you have adversities. You may not be able to go around it. You have to walk through it. You have to climb through it. You have to climb on it. 
a pastor preached this last Sunday in church and it, you know, it resonated with me. So sometimes you have to face the fear. Sometimes you have to face your mountains. Sometimes you have to face those hurdles, those difficulties, those adversities head on face to face and fight it. And you have to fight through it. And I'm sitting here today, just blown away by the goodness of God. Why? Two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago, I won the award for devotional of the year. I won a literary award. So I'm sitting here today, two years ago, afraid of writing my first book, afraid, terrified that nobody would read the book. But the minute I put the book out in the atmosphere, it became a bestseller. But not only that, I am now an award-winning author for that same book, right? And fast forward to yesterday, Entreport, this gigantic marketing and advertising firm featured me not only on their blog, but in their ad and in their magazine. Why? Because I took a risk and invested in myself. I took a risk and I did something I never thought I would do. I took a risk and I was afraid of all of the uncertainties, of all of the unknowns, and I took a risk and it's paying off. And I'm sitting here today, a person who understands marketing and automation. Last year, I didn't even know what that meant, right? And here I am today being featured in a magazine, in an article about mar marketing and automation. That just goes to show when you invest in yourself and believe in yourself, thank you, Eskanda, and believe in yourself that God has a way of opening those doors for you that just blows your mind. So if you're sitting here right now and you're listening to me, or for those of you that might watch the replay, I wanna invite you to my conference. I wanna invite you to the Victorious You Conference. It is a transformational conference. So it's not a conference that I'm gonna sit there and sell you a whole bunch of things. It's a conference where I am going to meet you where you are and help you get to the other side of your next, help you get to your next level, help you to activate success, help you to explore, to evolve, to elevate from where you are, because that's what I did two years ago. And that's what is paying off for me. And I know that God is his has God has given me the ability and the the direction to help other women activate their faith and activate success. So I want to show you what I did in just two short years of going from stuck to success, broken to brave, being a victim to a victor. Right. And so a survivor to a thriver. And I want to share that with you. I want to give that to you. I don't want to keep it for myself because God saved my life last year. I was on my deathbed. God brought me back from the dead just so that I could give this message to you that will receive it, to you that will receive it. So I am inviting you to join me October 5th and 6th at the conference. Here is what is happening. There's two days. October 5th is the VIP day. October 6th is the general conference day. VIP tickets and general conference tickets right now are $70 off. So if you purchase a VIP ticket today, right, between now and July 31st, it's $157 for the VIP ticket. That's, that is a cup of coffee a day for like five weeks. That's it. Right, because every day you go to Starbucks, you spend $4. If you spend $4 a day on coffee, right, it's $157 in five weeks and three days. <laughs> and I know for those of you who love coffee like me that go to Starbucks every day, and Starbucks is just for the experience. We have coffee makers that we can make our coffee at home, but there's something about going to Starbucks and Starbucks and enjoying that experience, right? So we go and we go into Starbucks line or we sit in Starbucks and we order, you know, a tall, a grande, a venti or whatever, and we pay anywhere from $3.50 to $7 for our coffee every day right? $157. If you put away $4 a day, $4 a day for five and a half weeks, that's the cost of the conference. $157. If you take advantage of the early bird, take action special that's going on now. And what I want to do is to just invite you to come and hear these speakers. 
I have some of the industry's best speaker that's going to be there. I am looking at one right now, Lexi Jones. Lexi Jones is going to be my, one of my speakers. She's speaking on the VIP day and she's speaking on the general day because she is that amazing. And this woman is going to talk to you about all things money, your relationship with money, your mindset with money, and how to add passive streams of income to whatever it is you're doing. So if you're a career professional, a ministry leader, you want to do a nonprofit, you want to be a parallelpreneur, this is the conference that's going to give you the blueprint and the tips, the tools, the strategies to get to your next. And let me tell you this, age is not a factor. You can't let age stop you. I'll be 54 next week. And if I thought about it, if I had kept the fear of saying, oh, my God, I'm 52 years old. Who is going to buy my book? I would have never been sitting here today, an award winning four time best selling author. Yes, I've written four books in two years and all of them has hit the best selling list. Now tell me that that's not God. That's not God who took a 52 year old who thought that she came to the end of her career and changed her life around so that she can bring his words to you to share with you the power of God, the power of faith, the power of believing in yourself, the power of taking risk. We pay more for a pair of sneakers for, for our son than we pay to invest in ourselves. We go to Michael Kors and we buy a $300 handbag when there is no return on that investment. And then people are sometimes afraid of investing in themselves, afraid to invest in a coach, afraid to invest in a program. Listen, I understand that money is not easy to come by, but when you think about it that way, that is a mental mindset that is not a good one, right? That is a scarcity mentality when you think that money is hard to come by because it is not. You just have to know how to have a different relationship with money right? Hey, Esconda, great to have you. Violet, great to see you. I just want to shout out to some of my peeps that's on. Hey, Janet, how are you? And so I want you to come to this conference. It's in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's October 5th and 6th. Listen, the hotels, it's the best time now to book your hotels because I have a special group rate. It's the best time to get your flight. If you're not too far from Charlotte, you can drive, you can partner with some people, you can drive to come here. I have um, Jacinda Jacobs, who is a local television um, personality and radio personality that is gonna be the keynote speaker. I have Dee Edwards that's coming to bring the fire to you. I have um, Jana B that's coming from Atlanta to bring the boss up to you. I have my girl Shonda Keynes, vegan fitness chef. I have a celebrity R&B artist that's coming. Listen, I am coming to you with fire because I want to show you what I did to be where I am today and to show you that it doesn't matter what age or educational level that you are. I do not have a college degree. I do not have a college degree. I'm sitting here telling you, am I ashamed? Absolutely not. Why? Because when I realized that I had a choice to make, college degree versus investing in myself to get the knowledge that I needed to do what it is that God has purposed me to do, I decided that I was going to take the money that I could have gone and finished college and put it over here into coaching so that I would be prepared to be your coach, to be your guide, to be an author, to be a speaker. And so that was what I chose to do with my investment, right? Put it in me as opposed to a college degree. But listen, I applaud everybody on here that has a master's, that has a PhD, kudos to you, right? And I am not taking anything away from you with that, but I'm speaking to those people that are career professionals that might be saying, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. I don't feel qualified enough. I don't feel educated enough. Listen, God qualifies the call, right? And no matter where you are in life, as long as you take risk and you put your foot out there, God is going to match you in a way that is going to blow your mind. So I dropped the link in this live video. I want you to share this video out. I want you to invite your friends. I want you to follow me. I want you to click the notifications by Joan T. Randall. 
Every Monday night, I have Victorious U TV, and I will be bringing all my speakers, um, you know, weekly on this program, the Victorious U TV program, so that you can hear what it is they're going to be bringing at this Victorious U conference. But it was so heavy on my heart that I needed to share this today. Why? Because of what just happened, right? The win, the award win for the book, and then Entreport putting me in their magazine, putting me in their ad, putting me as a featured user of Entreport, which just totally blew my mind. A marketing and automation company. This woman who at 52 years old didn't even understand the word marketing from a uh, entrepreneurial perspective. I understood it from my job because they did it, but not from being a personal, you know, having my own business and implementing sequences and campaigns and automation in your business. That was all science and foreign to me. And here I am being recognized for implementing those things in my business today. So it's the power of faith, it's the power of risk, it's the power of investing in you, it's the power of believing in yourself. And let me share this with you. You can sit behind your computer and watch everybody else grow and you just wish it was you. And you can sit behind your computer and grow. You have to get in the room, you have to be around people, you have to have a seat at the table, you have to be networking, you have to be around people that are going places that can build you up, that can encourage you. 